everybody, it's Lee. I'm back. I'm sorry I was gone for a while. I had a di complete thyroidectomy and I'm recovered now and I also got divorced and all that takes up a lot of time and you know, life gets complicated. But I'm back. So what I'm doing is I am drilling a hole in an oyster shell which I had soaked in bleach and dishwashing detergent overnight to get all the funk off of it. I found it in my backyard. I think my daughter was playing with it. Where it came from, well, an oyster. But we have a lot of oysters down here in, in southern Louisiana. <sighs> I've actually gone oyster hunting in the marsh. Anyway, I don't know if it's called oyster hunting, but whatever. I, oh, I'm using a drill bit to drill a hole in the oyster shell to put a little ribbon through when I'm done. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, I'm, I'm drilling and taking a break. I'm going to paint the inside of it something really pretty. And... Then I'm gonna, um, like this little example here that my sister gave me, this cute little flamingo. And then uh, I'm gonna spray it with an acrylic spray so it stays. I'm gonna use acrylics on it. But isn't this the most adorable little thing? You see, just a little eyes to show. And then it, it, and then it hangs. You could like use it as a Christmas ornament or just like in your window somewhere. <sighs> it's taking a little time. I'm going to pause this and then I'm going to come back. It's kind of boring watching me drill, huh? Okay, I made it all the way through, and I did it on a piece of wood, which has my mother's initials on it. Oh, oh sorry, JC. Uh, I don't know who did this for her. Anyway, we've had this, uh, it's been in our house for years and years and years. Uh, and I used the back because I knew when I went through, it would go blomp. Safety kind of thing. Anyway, got my hole all the way through. Very happy with that. Uh... Drilling through oyster shells is a little rough, let me tell you. Now, uh, I'm gonna go gather my other supplies because <laughs> I'm so dizzy. It's like five o'clock in the morning. Uh, over here, where's my clock? What time is it? It's 5.42 in the morning. I woke up at four o'clock total insomnia like I'm awake I'm awake so I clean uh, I just opened my coffee uh I, so I came in here and cleaned off my desk which had had stuff on it since Christmas when my sister cleaned out a bunch of stuff and gave me a whole bunch of crafty stuff and uh I just piled it on my desk here <laughs> I can't believe I've been so neglectful of my stuff doing this. Anyway, let me get my stuff together. I'll be right back. Okay, I got my paints that I decided I might be using. I have two different Prima Art Alchemy acrylic paints, which are metallic paints, an ancient coin, and a pink blush. They're really pretty. They're metallic-y. Then I have my golden paints. I love my golden paints. I have titanium white and Mars black in heavy body, heavy body. And then in the fluids, my little fluids, I have quinacridone magenta, quinacridone red, transparent red iron oxide, transparent pyrrole orange, Hansa yellow light, transparent yellow iron oxide, green gold, phthalo green, yellow shade, means it's warm. 
uh, Payne's Gray, Cerulean Blue, Chromium, Ultramarine Violet, Interference Violet Fine, and Interference Orange Fine. The Interference ones, I don't know if you can see it on here. It's kind of transparent, but it's got a little purplish hue to it. And on your golden paints, you can tell how opaque they will be by how much you can see the little lines where they have the sample painted. So your Hansa Yellow Light is more transparent than Payne's Gray. See, your Titanium White is, is pretty opaque. Mars Black, totally opaque. Okay, so I think what I've decided I want to paint is a little cardinal. My sister, uh, we have this thing for cardinals in my family. <laughs> uh, they represent my mother, who comes visit me frequently. I uh, have what I call kamikaze cardinal who bangs on my window all the time. <sighs> Keeps me on track. Uh, so I think a cute little cardinal would work in here. Uh, background, I think I'm going to do a little blue with uh, interference violet. A little mix of that. Ooh, and I also have uh, some pretty satin acrylic glazing liquid. Now this is used to extend the working time of acrylic paints and it's useful for creating glazes and increasing flow leveling and blendability of all golden acrylic colors. I like this stuff. It makes it, makes it so that, and it, if you have a paint that is pretty opaque it'll make it a little more transparent for you so this stuff is like gold to me so I'm only using like I've put two drops of my cerulean blue this is series 7 this is an expensive one they have different numbers which series they are the higher the number the more expensive it is this is a series 7 too so two drops of that. I have where's my little palette knife? There's a little palette knife. So let me mix this up. I can put a little more of this. Am I even in the pay frame? Yeah, I am. Okay. here. I like working with this brush. Since I'm working on an oyster shell, I'm not going to use one of my better brushes. And we're going to paint it out. See how it's really transparent? I'm going to put some marsh grass or, or maybe a little tree, I don't know. We're going to see as we go along. It's going to be how I feel, what I'm going to do. Never know with me. So like I said, I, I had a, my thyroid removed, the, the second half of my thyroid. Uh, they, when I, I get all my health care through the VA right now, I'm a disabled veteran. And when I told my primary <laughs> care provider that I increased my thyroid medicine because I wasn't feeling good, she said, I'm going to refer you to ENT. So she did. And the ENT doctor checked my thyro thyroid levels and my hormone levels, TSH levels in my blood. And they were wonky. So she ordered... Uh, an ultrasound. No. 
Yeah, she ordered an ultrasound and submitted in the chronology. Well, uh, <laughs> it ended up, I had four tumors on my thyroid. The, the left side, because the right side had been removed. I had a lemon-sized tumor on my right side six years ago. Like, they couldn't take the, th the whole thing out when they took it. You, I just, I didn't understand that. When they took the, when they first went in, they could have taken the whole thing out. But did they? No, 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 no. I had to go through two different surgeries. Well, the first time they took it out, they, they took out part of my thyroid. It was benign. It's just a tumor that was growing and growing and growing and wouldn't stop growing. Well, now I had four more tumors and they were tall and thin, which is indicative of cancer. And they did two needle biopsies on me, which lasted for two hours each time. And it's a process with five needle biopsies each. And it's a process that should last like 15 minutes. And it took two hours on me. Oh my God. And both times they were inconclusive. And I said, can, if, if this second one's inconclusive, can you just take on my thyroid, please? So they did. And guess what? There was micro cancer in there. So I'm really glad, in two of the tumors. So I'm glad they took it out. And now I have to go for an ultrasound on Wednesday, which is tomorrow. Post surgery to make sure everything is out of there and everything's okay, which I'm fine with. The VA now in New Orleans is fabulous. They're taking excellent care of me. I have a lot of health issues from being in. And they're just really wonderful. Okay, let me uh, kind of speed up this process here. I'll be right back. Okay, I put another coat of the, the just the cerulean uh blue chromium with the glazing liquid and I'm just gonna do another quick couple of drops of the interference uh, violet just real quick to make it kind of shiny and sparkly purple because I can when it is sparkling purple <laughs> You could see that. I know you can. This stuff is fabulous. A little sum sum at the end. And I'm going to spray paint it glossy at the end. A little gloss spray on it. Acrylic spray to so it, it kind of just stays. Oh, that's fabulous. Loving it. Now I'm going to dry this again. I'll be right back. Okay, now it's dry. I got two uh, watercolor pencils, uh, polychromos, Caron, no, Caron Dash. Super color, two soft watercolor pencils. I have, um, they're Swiss made. They're really cool. I really love them. I have Scarlet 70, Eclarte, a color I'm mixing Spanish and French, and Brun Brown, number 59 and number 70. And I just picked these because Cardinal is red and a true branch is brown. So I'm going to do a little drawing on here, a little sketching, because, uh, you know, I want the little bird. And, and since it's watercolor, you know, I can always wash it off. So we're going to have like a branch coming across here for my little bird to perch on with a branch coming up here. And another branch coming down here 
We're gonna have some foliage off of it. And uh, so it comes off this way. So, my little bird will be perched here. Okay, let me see. Let me get his little head. He's got a pointy head. That's not right. That's not right. See, beauty of erasing with your finger. <laughs> okay, let me do his little body first. His little tail. He's got. See a rough sketch. Um, is my head in the way? Oh, my head's not in the way. Rough sketch of a. Let me do this quick. Because the more I piddle with stuff, the worse it becomes. Ooh. His little head goes like that. And he's got a little, little bump. A little beak. And it goes to his body. Does I look like a cardinal? Pretty much. Okay, let me get a teeny tiny little brush. Let's start with some of this and painting in his body. This is quinacridone red. To put his little feet and his beak in, in a little bit. Bye, baby. Okay. Let me put some accent colors on him. Darker underneath. Maybe on his wing. His 
face is usually dark. Like, I need my paintings gray. Make this a little face. Now shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Now let me make sure I get his little markings right. better I think yeah it's gonna be fine little cardinal let me tell you Okay, that's done. Let me put some more colors in his body. Okay, I have quinacridone red, quinacridone, so hard to say, quinacridone magenta and transparent red oxide to make something a little darker here. There we go. Give him some texture. like him. I need a little orange for the beak. He's got to have a beak. Tiny little beak. And where's his eye? I'm sorry my head's in the way. My apologies. His eye goes right there. And then he's got little feet. I'm going to come down here onto the branch. Okay, now I'm going to make a brown. I'll be right back. I knew I had a brown burnt umber light. <clears throat> Never opened. <sighs> oh, that 
two of those things on there. My goodness. Two of the little things on there, plus this plastic coating. Oh no, they don't want me to use their paint, huh? Poo yai. Burnt Umber Light. And let me take this little brush. And I'll go over his little feet. I'm going to put some leaves on my branches. And my head is in the way again. If it's so, I'm sorry. Okay, there's my little branch. Just a few here and there. Yeah, you know, kind of primitive. I think I'm going to give this to my daddy to hang in his house, in his kitchen, because he loves cardinals. Just dots of green everywhere to indicate leaves. A little bit here, a little bit there, everywhere. Oh, I know what I can do. And do some more things here. I'm sorry, I think I keep getting in the way. More. Of course, only needs a little work painting some varying colors in him. I'm gonna have to clean this lid. I couldn't open it. Okay, 
So, my little cardinal. Let me get some of this orange mixed in here. I'm such a mess. <laughs> Because they're not all one color, you know? They're multifaceted little critters. So the more colors you can put on them, the better, I find. getting out of hand. Okay, let me see. Oh, he's cute. I like it. I'm going to put even a little lighter with some Hansi yellow. I like mixing with my brush a lot. Oh, this is going to be pretty. see. I think we're done. I think we're done. So that's it. And now I'm going to, I'm going to get probably a red ribbon, a simple red ribbon. Uh, you know what? Are there green leaves? No, I want just that. We're done. A little patch light in his eye? Yeah, a little patch light in his eye is necessary. There, that sells it. So here we are with my little cardinal oyster shell. Okay, what you're hearing right now is my ventilation fan <clears throat> in my studio because I'm spraying with Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss. Uh, also bonds to plastic. Hey, great. Uh, it seals and protects and revitalizes. It's like an acrylic paint. Uh, Non-yellowing, UV resistant, so it keeps this in its fast dry. I did two coats already. I'm going to do two more coats. This is all you do. You spray it and you let it dry. So I'm going to let this dry. I picked out this red ribbon to go with it. I cut a piece already. I don't know where to put it. Uh, I'm going to have to find that. And then, uh, oh yeah, here it is. Uh, yeah, I got to cut the other end crooked too. And uh, then I'm going to put it on and I'll be done. I probably should sign it. I'm going to have to do that. Oh well, we'll figure that out. 
I'll be back when I, and show you the final thing in a minute. Well, here is my finished little product. My oyster shell has been sprayed with clear acrylic to make sure it's it, the paint stays on there. Got my little ribbon to hang it, and so it can hang anywhere. I think my dad's gonna like it. What do you think? If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Come back and see me sometime. Hopefully soon I'll have another video posted. Yay!